What's good, YouTube? Dammit, 192 here, back again once again. Today, people, today we're back for episode number 30. That's 8. 30 of our Pokemon Wild Let's Play. And today, you guys, as you can see, we are here in Terminus Cave. Today, people, today, we are in Terminus Cave. And the reason that we are here in the, the, uh... <laughs> the room with Zygarde here is because I actually already recorded this episode and I did not like the episode at all. I did not like the recording, I did not like the take. I know that we've had certain episodes that have been relatively boring compared to other episodes in the LP, but I felt like that episode that I recorded going through Terminus Cave and getting here to Zygarde was just completely terrible. I did not enjoy it at all. So I just decided I was going to go ahead and scrap it, reload the save, and um, just catch Zygarde again. I don't know. I don't know if it was just me going through Terminus Cave that was boring, or I don't know. I just didn't like the recording. I just had that bad juju, that bad, bad vibes about it, or whatever. But anyways, our party as of right now, going into this Zygarde fight, we have Blackstar, our Greninja. Let's actually load them up and look at them and shit. We have Blackstar, our Greninja, who still knows Surf, because last episode we talked to him just to get across. I gotta get rid of that when I go back to competitive plays and whatnot. Teach him Dark Pulse again. Then we got King Boo! Yeah! King Boo uh, holding that Gengarite, the, the pride and joy of our party. It was 72! Scar, our Pyroar, who's level 67. Curly, the Diggers B, who I actually taught Rock Smash to get through Terminus Cave. If I would have kept the recording before, you would have seen me teach it to him, but... Oh, well. But, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that and give him return again later on. Then we have Jupiter, the Tyrantrum, level 62, and the most hated member of our party, Cuddle, the Vivalon, level 62 as well. So, uh, with that being said, I know that Zygarde is park ground, so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do... Um, because I have seven or six Zygarde's already, I'm going to swap over to King Boo, because... Does he have Crunch? I'm trying to think. You know what? Here's one way I can test this. This is kind of this is kind of sort of cheating, I guess you could say. Going ahead and looking at what Zygarde's moveset is. Since we don't have a PC right here readily available to us... Come on! Connect to the goddamn internet! Shit! Since we don't have a PC readily available to us, can we look at... I don't know if we can look at movesets. I don't think we can look at movesets, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what happens. If we go to Wonder Trade, if we go to Wonder Trade, move this shit over here. I saw the mouse on the screen. I'm sorry. If we go to Wonder Trade, let's see here. Yeah, we can look at movesets. Okay. I actually, my next shiny I'm trying to get, you guys already saw I got shiny hone edges. The next shiny I'm trying to get is Fennekin. Uh, I gave, I'm, I'm using the Fennekin that Shauna gave us at the end because it's got modest uh, natures and I gave it the Everstone. It's probably like level 30 something already, but I did hatch an entire box of Fennekins. Named them all Nappy, so if I trade them off, I know. If I trade them off and get them back, I know that it's mine. Well, I guess the OT could do that, but still, it's immediate! Shit! Um, but yeah, um, I got a whole box of fucking Fennekins. I haven't gotten a shiny yet, but yeah, that's my breeding box. This is where the Fennekin was at. Just chilling there, that's why the gap's there. But yeah, if I ever need to breed any Pokemon, these are the box I'm gonna pull from because they all have correct natures and shit, whatnot. But yeah, so let's see here. Where is Zygarde at? Where is Zygarde at? Uh, another shiny that I just got. Someone on Twitter traded me a shiny Ninetales. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what the moveset is. It does have Crunch. I don't think Grass Knot's regular. I think that's the traditional moveset for it. Crunch, Earthquake, Camouflage, and Dragon Pulse. I wish I could click on this and see the PP so I know how long it would be until he stall, stall, struggle kills himself. Yeah, I think that's the default moveset. Dragon Dance. How did somebody get Dragon Dance on him? Does he get it from level up? Somebody Master Ball that Zygarde. Does he get... Grass Knot? Is Grass Knot a TM? Why would you teach Grass Knot to a Zygarde? I don't understand that. Maybe it's something obvious and I don't get it, but why would you... What? What? Dragon Dance. That's interesting. Interesting. Anyways, so yeah. So he has Crunch, Camouflage, Earthquake, and Dragon... What's the name of that Dragon move? Dragon Pulse. Okay, so Crunch, that kind of scares me. Leaving with King Boo, but Earthquake keeps him away. I wonder if Blackstar can tank an Earthquake. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave with Curly. I'm going to leave with Curly just to see what happens. Because I think Curly, Curly should be able to tank whatever hit this Zygarde gives us. But we should be able to see what happens. 
Oh, I love him! Oh my god, I love Zygarde. Easily one of my favorite legends. They really took a shit on him in this gen because they made Xerneas and Eveltal base 680 stats and they made Zygarde 600. Zygarde has the same base stats as a fucking pseudo legend. That's dumb. But at the same time, the trios of each region only have base 580 stats. But I mean, they're the trios. They're supposed to be like in triplicate. Don't give them super amazing stats. What the fuck? Let's earthquake this bitch. Oh, he's gonna earthquake us. We're gonna earthquake each other. Ah, oh damn, a crit, holy shit. Earthquake right back at you, knuckle. And of course, he's just gonna eat that hit up. Damn, my god. Again, 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 Curly, no! That was a crit. I think Curly can take maybe two earthquakes from this thing under normal circumstances. Crunch, you can eat that up, Curly. Om nom 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 nom. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Just to see. Just to see what happens, because everybody was... Look, look, I wanna show you guys what we're rocking. 80 Ultra Balls, 20 Quick Balls, 30 Dusk Balls, too. Because everybody and their fucking mother was going off at the mouth in the last episode's comment section. I'm not, like, upset or angry or anything. I don't want anyone to think, just because of my choice of words, I'm upset or anything. Oh, look at that, look at that. It goes right back out. Um, but yeah, everyone was talking about Nappy. Dust balls are the way to go. Nappy, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Any Pokeball will catch a Pokemon. I don't believe in that superstitious bullshit talking about, oh, well, um, this Pokeball works better over this Pokeball. I've seen people catch legends in the first turn with regular Pokeballs. Somebody left in the comments section last time, they used a quick ball like 40 turns into the battle and caught the fucking Zygarde. You know, I don't believe that there's one move over, an, I mean, one Pokeball over another that's going to help you win. Oh, guys, he's going to use Camouflage. He's a Rock-type. Hammer Arm! He can tank it. Yeah, he can tank it. What am, I, what am I sitting here worrying about? What the fuck? But I want Curly just to level him down enough. But yeah, I don't, I'm not one of those people that believe that certain balls work better than others. I mean, if we catch him, we catch him. If we don't, we don't. Oh, well. Can we get, can we, can we, can we get him lowered into the red? Can we get him lowered into the red? Into the red? Into the red? <laughs> into the red? I don't know, we'll see though. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna lead more towards the Dusk Balls on this one. More so than the Ultra Balls and see what we can do. Dragon Pulse, you can take a Dragon Pulse. Don't do half damage, don't do half damage, don't do, there you, Curly just eating that up! Oh, as PK Sparks said, he ate that up and said it was yummy! Mmm! Let's go for a strength. I don't want to use anything that's going to be too, do too much damage to him. Come on, Curly. Tank it. Tank it, Curly. Tank it. There you go. I'm going to hit him with another one. I'm going to hit him with another one. I'm going to heal him first and then hit him with another one. Go for the camouflage, nigga. Go for the camouflage. Even though I haven't been counting, I'm pretty sure Earthquake has, we can check on, on Curly. Earthquake, I think, has 10 PP. Dragon Pulse, I think, has 15. Camouflage, I have no clue. And... What's his last move? Earthquake boom right there. Fuck. Does so much damage. He's gonna kill Curly. Curly, take it. Tank it, Curly, tank it. You can do it. You can do it, nigga. Oh he, oh, he tanked it. I think we could probably get one more strength off on Zygarde, but I'm gonna heal Curly and then start throwing dust balls at his ass. And hopefully we can catch this bitch. Have us a nice short episode, not a six hour long render and a 400 minute upload. <laughs> of course, exaggeration. Everyone takes everything I say literally in the comment section. You have such a long render, Nabby. You should probably handbrake your videos. If you have such a shitty internet connection, what, what's your shitty internet connection? You should try switching this user. Yada, 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 yada. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Where is the stun spore and the sleep pattern when you need it? Okay, here we go. We're gonna go for a Dusk Ball, because everyone swears this works better. Make me a believer! Make me a believer! This is why I hate catching legends. Right here. This is why I hate catching legends. This is why I hate catching legends. Because it defies all logic that they teach you in Pokemon games. Since Gen 1, they've told you, lower the health into the red. If that doesn't work, give them a st status ailment. Well, we can't do that right now. If that doesn't work, give them a status ailment, and they'll be easier to catch. Oh, yeah? Well, 
lower this bitch to the red, he should be easy to catch. Any other Pokemon on the face of the fucking Pokemon world, any other Pokemon that Arceus himself has granted life, to take it down to 1 HP, that bitch is gonna stay in the fucking ball. Not a legend. Not a legend. Oh, no, no. Not in my house. No, no, no. Fucking stupid. And then on top of that, most legends you can only get at the end of the game after you're already trained your Pokemon all the way up. And on top of that, you don't even use them. They just go sit in the fucking PC. So stupid. Just stay in the fucking Pokeball. Catch rate should not be this ridiculous. Alright, 27 more Dust Balls. We're gonna, we're gonna use all our Dust Balls before we go to Ultra Balls. Because we're in a cave, and that's what works. It's working real good, isn't it? I don't know, I'm just being a smart ass. But yeah, like I said, I really don't believe... I think if you, it's it's all up to chance. It doesn't really matter what ball you use. If you catch them, you catch them. If you don't, you don't. It's just popping out. We're not even getting any shakes. We're not even getting any. Sh I love how he lights up. He's so much cooler than Xerneas and Veltal. God, he's so much cooler. I love Zygarde. A lot of people don't like him because he's just like a slug. I don't. Know, he's, he's not a slug. He's like a snake. He's so much cooler than the other two. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. And my theory is, my theory is, we spoke about this on Zephazon's, Zephazon, Zephazon, Zep, god damn, I can't talk. Zephazon's Elite Four podcast, one episode we were talking about it. Um, because of the fact, because I mean, there's X, Y, and everyone thinks there's going to be Pokemon Z. I think there's going to be a Pokemon Z, and I think that it's too, it's too blatantly obvious that they have Eveltal in the shape of a Y, Xerneas in sort of an X, and now this one, which is completely out of nowhere. Name starts with Z too. He he fits the color scheme. He fits the shape. It's too it's too blatantly obvious. There's gonna be a Pokemon Z, and I think that Zygarde is gonna get a Mega Evo to up those stats. I think he's gonna get a Mega Evo, and he's gonna up his stats because his stats are too low. I mean, if you look at all the other uh, quote-unquote main trios, not like the, the regular trios of each game, look at Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza. Rayquaza, has, he, he can hang with Ky Kyogre and Groudon. What else is there? What else is there? From second gen... No, they didn't have they didn't have that. They just had Lugia, Lugia and Ho-Oh. Third gen, they had those three. Fourth gen, you had Dialga, uh, Palkia, and Giratina. Out of the fucking ball. Giratina could hang with the other two. What was in 5th gen? You had Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kiram. Kiram could hang with the other two. You know, it's just, it's it's weird that they lower his stats this much. If he gets a Mega Evo, I could see them boost him up to 680 or maybe even 700 so he shits on the other two. I don't know. I think that would be, I would be perfect though. They just, it, it all lines up too, too well. It all lines up way too well. For it not to happen. So that's my prediction. I think there will be a Pokemon Z. Storyline will be based around Zygarde. And he'll get a Mega Evo. I think that'll be sick because his design is already sick as fuck. So I would love to see a Mega Zygarde. Mega Zygarde. Mega Zygarde. Oh my god. Can you stay in the dust ball, bro? Is that a possibility? You think you can make that happen? You wanna stay in this bitch? You wanna stay in this bitch? Stay in this bitch. One, two, three. Oh, we got him, 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 we got him. I'm still not a believer. I'm still not a believer. I mean, even though, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, all the time I had, I can't remember what went down in the Mewtwo fight, I just know it took fucking forever before we finally mastered up on him. I don't remember how many Ultra Balls we used individually in each run, because we always, like, two of the three ones we did, we ended up burning them and killing them, so, I don't know, if, we'll just leave it at this, if you think that Dust Balls work better, more power to you, but I'm gonna stick with whatever I have available at the time. It really doesn't matter to me, it's fucking Pokemon. No nickname for the Zygarde. So yay, we caught Zygarde, it didn't take us nine hours. And uh, down each of these paths, which is again, kind of awkward, over here was the Adamant Orb, I think on the right side was the uh, Lustrous Orb, top left over here was the Greasiest Orb, I think that's what it is, and then up here was a Big Nugget. 
And those are the items for, well, ex with the exception of the Big Nugget, those are the items for, um, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. And I think that's very, very awkward. I think it's very weird that they included those three items. I mean, it's like, why? Like, why are they in the Kalos region? I don't understand that. Why would they include those items in the Kalos region if those Pokemon weren't somewhere in the Kalos region? Does that make sense? And some people, they, they dispel that rumor with, you know, well, maybe it's for when Pokebank comes out and you trade your Pokemon over. Well, true, but, like, why would you not have those items on your Pokemon when you trade them over? You know what I mean? Like, I, it, just, it just seems very weird that those items are just chilling. Did they have that in 5th gen? I don't know. This is like a theories episode. Hmm, what's going down? Oh no, I want to use another one. Shit! Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit! Because of this right here. I don't even have to go through fucking bushes. I'm going to have to reteach. Return and Dark Pulse. I'm going to go to the fucking move deleter -er for that. Fly back to Dendermill Town! Teach him that shit. But yeah, I want to go back here and check out our Zygarde. And see what his stats are and his nature and all that shit. Kure Town. Kure Town. Let's see here. How is our Zygarde doing in Tabox? In Tabox! An impish Zygarde. What does impish do? Impish ups defense and lowers special attack. Ah, I don't know if that's a great move set for him or not. I guess he's a physical attacker? Since, I mean, his special attack is lowered, but I don't see his special attack being lowered by 30 points like that to make a difference. So I guess he's he's somewhat all around, but primarily physical. His stats are so ugly for his level. What the fuck? Why did they do that to him? Sorry, buddy. I love you. I love you, nigga. But yeah, damn. Anyways, that's our Zygarde, and now that we've caught him, we can place him firmly in position here at the end of the Mountain Callow's Pokedex box. Of course, this Xerneas was traded to us because we don't have access to that in this uh, game. We caught this Eveltal, this is ours, and we caught this Zygarde just now, that's ours as well. And of course, nobody listens! <laughs> Each episode I talk about, each episode that I show off the box, I talk about that people sent these to me. They ended their games and they're like, Nappy, I'm restarting, do you want these? And I say, sure. And they sent them to me. Like, this one has a Gengarite on it. Because they were just trading them to me, because why not? So that's how I got these. That's it. That's, really, that's the only way I got them, is through trade. But yeah, besides that, you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here. Kind of a short episode today in, care, in comparison to other ones. I'm going to get back to reading some Fennekins and hope I can get a shiny one. Um, I haven't really been messing with the Pokedex all too much. I need to get on that and um, wrap up this Mountain uh, Mountain Kalos Pokedex just so we can have the entire thing. And then I think, do you even get the National Dex in this game? I don't know if you do or not. I think you do. But I think that for Let's Play purposes, once we complete the Mountain Dex, we're going to call it a wrap. We completed the Kalos Pokedexes. Um, and once Pokebank gets released, we might have a special bonus comeback episode where we can like announce trying to complete the national decks. And if you have any additional Pokemon you'd like to help me get, then by all means send them my way. Because by then there's there's what a total of like what 720 Pokemon as of right now, something like that, give or take. Don't quote me. And if we complete the Mountain Callus Pokedexes and include the Pokemon you can get in Friend Safaris, because I think there's some Pokemon in there that you can get, like Drillbur. Can you get? I don't think you can catch Drillbur in the wild. I think he's only a friend safari shit. So Pokemon like that, Larvesta, Magmar, shit like that. Honestly, I could see there maybe being like 500 Pokemon total. So once Pokebank drops, there might be like 200 we might have to get. So we'll have a good majority of the Pokedex completed, the National Dex completed. So yeah, because I know there are certain Pokemon like Dadomaka and Darmanitan aren't in the game. We haven't seen them yet. Of course, there's all the legends that we won't have access to. Um, I did see a screenshot of Lugia, though. Uh, I know I did the video about Arceus and Mew and whatnot, but I did see a screenshot about Lugia, and I should have done a video about that. I might still do a video about that. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, you guys, let me stop rambling. We caught Zygarde. We caught Mewtwo yesterday. Tomorrow's episode will be us catching Moltres, because that's the respected bird that we have for this uh, game. 
And uh, I think Monday will be Looker Missions in... Hopefully, halfway through next week, if not by the end of the week, we'll be done with this LP. So, besides that, you guys, thank you for all your support. Thank you for checking out the video as well. Smash that like button for me if you enjoyed today's episode. You guys have been killing the ratings as of late, and I want to say thank you for that. It truly means a lot. It truly does mean a lot. And um, don't let Google Plus get you down. That's all I got to say. I might do a video about that as well, because... A lot of you guys are just flipping shit over Google Plus, but anyways, besides that, you guys, smash that like button for me if you haven't, and uh, thank you for checking out the video. You know me, it's 2.92. I'm out.